Hey, it's your boy Gavin, back with another video. In this video, I got a question from someone that left a comment on one of my YouTube channels. They talked about, do I use any software? What's my um, procedure with research, product research? So we're talking about Amazon Australia here, okay? That's what I focus on. With my product research, it's the same every time, all right? And I'll just, I'll take you through a step-by-step -step on exactly how I do that. It's very, it's very easy to do, it's great. It's, it's, uh, nothing complicated about it all right you just have to use your brain now um, with that said i did use software called egro uh, about six months ago i had the paid version i had it for several months i think like three months i used it and it was highly inaccurate it gave me uh, results that were um, not accurate and then what i did was i i made purchasing decisions based on those uh, uh, returns of the uh, quantities and the uh that it told me so from my personal experience which i did use about six months ago which is say mid 2019 i had a bad a bad experience from it the data was highly inaccurate i emailed egro admin and they just gave me some cookie cutter response and i was very disappointed in their software and I know I'm never I'm never going to use it again now whether they've upgraded their software since uh, I don't know but I can tell you this from all the softwares out there the Australian market there's hardly any data on the Australian market and even if, even if there is data from the Australian market it's not coming from Amazon itself it's just based off uh, guesstimations um, Google uh, Analytics and I know other analytics what they made data mine from the internet. So it's it's highly inaccurate um, from, from what I see and I would not use any software. Even if there was some software out there, just think about it. Everyone else is gonna use the same software and if they put in the, the inputs, hey, I want a product that is uh, weighs this much, that costs this much, and I can make this much profit and it has this much uh, rank, just think about it this way, everyone's gonna do it. And then within a short period of time, that product that you feel that is, you know, the, the golden egg, it's gonna be quickly saturated within a couple of months. And this is exactly what happened to one of my products that I used for Amazon USA. All right, so by actually not using a software, in my opinion, it's an advantage because there's a lot of lazy people out there that wanna use the software and um, that's exactly what they're gonna do. Whereas if you have your own method that you use coming from your brain, it's highly unlikely that someone else is gonna actually do it. So let's just go to my computer and I wanna show you the method that I use. And this is, this is like literally like, it's all brain power, okay? It's just using your initiative and your forward thinking. And this is how I find the products and this is how I find these golden nuggets, okay? so. Let's go to my computer and I'm going to show you the exact same step-by-step -step method so you can uh, use for yourself for Amazon Australia. Alright guys, so all I do is I go to Amazon Australia and then I click on this tab up here that says best sellers. Okay, and then I start my research. Alright, so then what I do is I go to each bestseller and then I just drill down. And what I did was, this is how I discover new products that I don't know about. And I'm always discovering new products that I never knew. The other day, yesterday, I found out a new product about a niche that I never knew about. Um, so you also wanna check out um, Amazon uh, USA as well, because uh, I like to, you know, usually, the products that are in Amazon USA are already out in the USA and then you can bring them to Australia. So I use these in tandem, USA and uh, Australia bestsellers. And in another video, I showed you how to do the uh, one third rule, okay? Which um, uh, is really, really important based on how, you know, the, the pricing. And then um, also another video I talked about how there was some sellers uh, that you can get from selling the same products in Australia that are not available in Australia but that are selling internationally but they're appearing on Amazon Australia. All right, so 
that was another video as well but let's just stick to bestseller so what I do is I just go here then I just go and say home improvement I just click on home improvement and just just take it like have a blank um, have a blank sheet with this okay then what you do is you just come up here have a look at um, what uh, could be trending uh, also you might want to go to Google Trends uh, and get some ideas even go to Google and just say uh, best-selling products 2020 just to give you some ideas okay and then it's got here these are the niches shapewear travel accessories health and beauty products smart watches healthcare skincare hobbies it just gives you an idea like to, to, to kind of where to start from um, and then you know you can then just start you know go go with that see so there's a lot of all these here you can then just find these on Amazon and then just kind of drill down okay so, so for example this one here obviously you know with with the um, the latest uh, dramas with the virus in China um, this one here this obviously this one's going to be a, a, a high trending product okay so this is a face guard you want to click on this so I would just click on this and then I would then see the search results okay so see what these search results and then I would just um, see what uh, other people are buying what other people are kind of selling as well um, customers who frequently bought here so they frequently bought these and then you know what other customers viewed as well so this just gives you an idea on these masks okay so these masks are very popular at the moment I would say this is probably a uh, pretty crowded niche I wouldn't recommend the newbie go into this however there is opportunity because people are buying um, these masks like crazy okay and they will continue to buy because the air pollution problem is, is, is always going up and uh, this is going to be a, a continued issue with global warming so this actual product is is not a trending product it's not a, it's, it's sorry it's not a fad product it's a trending product all right um, you know and this is the category all right so the the work safe and equipment gear so this is be the category that would be under um, so this is what I do is I look at what I look I just I just take a visual of what is there get a feel of what what are the, what's the actual niche about you know what's uh, what what is it actually selling so it's obviously a face mask different types of face masks different colors different varieties different um, like there's the N KN95 uh, and then there's another one the KN99 um, there's the sets so they've got this different sets where there's a hundred pieces of these carbon filter and this carbon filter is like it, it's like an insert that goes into the um, actual mask itself all right so that's another thing you can sell these carbon filters um, then obviously there's different uh, different types of these masks one for air pollution there'll be surgical masks one would be like for asbestos so there's all it's quite a big niche so that's what I do I just go into this niche and then I just start to educate myself I even go to Google and then I type in you know um, what's the difference between N95 and N99 I just go to Google and it just tells me the difference is uh, simply the filter efficiency level okay so the N99 is better because it filters more the N95 doesn't filter as much if I just go here I can go to this one here and I can just read a little bit about the N95 masks and so forth so I can educate myself a little bit about it and then I can see well you know how can I attack this let's just go on um, N95 mask I can have a look on um, Google so there's medical ones there's reusable ones there's trendy ones here um, you know there's all these different designs there's got this, got this floral design um, 
these funny funny designs here with a, like a little pig there's certain there's a, like a let's see how there's so this is obviously private label people so this is another mask here so you see, see how you can get ideas so this one here is just like a little funny thing here these are just all funny little masks kind of thing um, with all these different pictures on it so this is obviously a private label seller all right so with this mask it probably only costs like one or two dollars to maybe to get this mask and then with the little print on it uh, they're selling these for 16 17 dollars so that's an idea you could do for uh, this is an Amazon USA so you could just put uh, mouth mask cute shape for kids and teens you could just see if there's anything selling for in Amazon Australia so there is that they're, they're selling six of these masks let's just go and see if they're international they are international so they're selling six of these masks for $26 now I, I probably wouldn't go into masks because it's highly competitive but you could just do exactly the same as this but just have different colors have different uh designs like you just get someone on fiber to do that it wouldn't be hard um you just have to think like out of the box all right don't just copy everything everything that everyone else is doing just make it different it's really really important that you do that because you don't want to compete on price make your product different the more different it is that means that someone's going to come and buy it from you they cannot buy from anyone else but you so this is here now that it's a 24 pack for 80 dollars again i did a video on this about how you do volume so you just get the same product but then you just sell multiple quantities of it um, so that's another idea you could do let's just click on this so all this is just a 24 pack. Uh, they probably got these for a dollar each and now they're selling for $80. So that's good margin. They've just got different designs. You can just get, like I said, get someone on fiber to do it. There's, there's another one. So it's, it looks like it's a, it's a trending kind of thing, right? There's another seller doing it, different seller. Okay. So as you can see, they're all just different kind of that's an idea you could do whether you do it or not feel free to take that idea and then I just repeat the process okay so then I just go back to best sellers and then I just repeat the process so that's it guys without dragging out any longer I just keep on doing the same process find best sellers target a sub niche then just drill down repeat this process until you find products you never knew about find the same product in Alibaba Go to ready to ship so you can get small quantities and then get small quantities to amazon to test the product first i always do small quantities and then once it sells you know it's a seller there's no sellers internationally uh, and you can compete on price and also your product is differentiated so you might even be able to sell it at a premium then once it's a seller once it's a it's a it's a winner then just go for smaller bigger volume maybe 100 pieces, 200 pieces, try to customize it a bit. Pretty much the same process over and over again to find those winners, okay? You learn from doing, and as you do it more and more and more, I spend at least two hours a day, you start to find gaps in the market. And this is what it comes down to, just brain power, all right? No software is ever gonna do this, because this is the most important part of the process, is finding that winning product. It's all about the product. And if you shortcut this process or try to outsource it or try to make the software um, become you or you ch you're just trying to be lazy, you're not going to find those winning products if you're lazy, okay? So take some time with this product research uh, part of the phase. It's the most important part of it. It's all about the product. And when you find those golden nuggets, you're going to be happy. You're going to be glad that you took the time to do the research, all right? So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if it's a question that I get asked all the time, I'll make a video about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. See ya.